Let's go, dude. You already know we gotta prepare for the workout, take some supercharged Applejack pre-workout, pumplabs.com, use my code AC20 for 20% off. So two scoops of this, 420 milligrams of caffeine. So it's gonna get us ready for the gym. Shout out to my dude Amar over at Zo Fierce for sending me literally eight blocks of chalk. Like that's so many blocks. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna use that many blocks of chalk, but um, probably do a review or something like that when I'm deadlifting because that's when I use chalk the most. So thank you, Amar, and I will definitely put these to use. Guys, I'm feeling amazing right now. I feel like I could take on the world. It's a beautiful day out. I got a nice tan yesterday, going to the beach. I'm feeling like I'm looking pretty shredded right now. Look good, feel good, perform good. But on the agenda for today, we have day three of my Johnny Candido six week program. So it has us doing bench press. We're working up to 225 for six reps. The first week is just the conditioning week, so these are light numbers. 225 for six, um, should go really simple. And then we're gonna hit some more chest, maybe some triceps, and then hit some abs, because you know we gotta get them shredded. Um, weighed in at 155 today on the dot. Last week it was like 155.4. I'm not too worried about dropping weight because I am going on a cruise in like a month and I know I'm gonna put on like five, hopefully not 10 pounds, but hopefully just five pounds on that cruise. And then I gotta really hit it hard after I get back and really shred down and get to 145 for the meat. So that's where I'm sitting at right now, 10 pounds. I'm 10 weeks out. So 10 weeks to drop 10 pounds and then weigh-ins that day. So I have to be 145 at the meat for sure hydrate you know get food in me and then lift so six week program day three bench we're going up to 225 should be pretty simple let's get it there's no ab wheel here so we gotta make the best of what we got we're using the straight bar with two 10 pound plates on each side it's a little different than ab wheel because you can go wider with your grip and everything but it gets the job done pretty much the same way you know Works your core, works a little bit of your chest, works a little bit of your triceps, but it's mostly for your abs. So, we're gonna do three sets of this for 15 to 20 reps. Here we go. Let's get shredded. Oh, you really gotta squeeze your abs. You gotta focus on your abs when you're doing it and not focus on like bringing it back with your arms. You gotta mentally muscle connection, abs, squeeze your abs, bring it back to you and like your lower core. All right, for this one, 15 to 20 reps. Sometimes I go 21, honestly, because this one's pretty easy. When you do this exercise, you're really gonna focus on your lower abs. Bring your legs up with your abs. Don't lift your leg. Like, it's gonna look like I'm lifting my legs, but I'm bringing it all up with the force of my lower abs and just like crunching as you go up. You really wanna squeeze for this one, get the lower abs involved. All right, this one, 15 to 20 reps, three sets. Holding a 10 pound plate on our chest, weight resistant as you're doing the crunches. 
you're gonna go all the way up and just touch the back of that when you come down. You're not gonna lay down all the way. But 15 to 20 reps, this one's actually the hardest one out of all three of them for me. This one is for the upper abs, like right around here, your core, all this going on right there. Alright, great workout. I forgot to do one of my oblique exercises because I was so worried about the great lighting to flex in uh, in that room, but I forgot the oblique exercise. Maybe next time I'll show you that. But we got some jogging, some sprints to do right now for some cardio. So we're going to get to it. We're going to start off with the jog, then head to sprints. All right, we basically ran around that twice because I had to run back and get my camera every single time I changed shots. So that's like a half a mile right there. Time for sprints. All right, got some sunburn yesterday, but you know, what's a little more sunburn? <laughs> really, let's do this. All right, I better tie these before I break an ankle, like slipping off. I never tie these, but for running, it's a must. They literally almost fell off and I almost twisted my ankle. Do not need a twisted ankle at all. All right, let's go. Eh, as far as running goes, I'm so out of shape. I'm running out of asthma, which I'm not gonna complain about. It is what it is. Ah, but I suck 
at like catching my breath and stuff like that. Oh my God, that was two sprints each way. And I'm like shot. Cause I give it 100% effort when I'm doing it, but oh my God, I'm so out of shape. I'm fat. Oh my God. Here we go again. Guys, my camera's about to die. I'm about to die. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you enjoyed the yeah, if you enjoyed the workout, drop a like, subscribe, do all that. Follow me on social media if you have any suggestions for any videos. Because I know someone suggested this app video. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.